The Niger state government says talks are on the way to stop post-harvest losses incurred by rice farmers in the state. The governor said this in Mina, Niger state, while speaking to members of the House of Representatives press corps who paid him courtesy visit in his office at the state capital in Mina. Plus TV, Emmanuel Eijene completes the report. With about 76,300 square meters of arable land and two major rivers, the River Niger and the River Kaduna, Niger State is Nigeria's leading producer of rice paddy. While this has helped create jobs for thousands of youths in the state's agriculture sector, farmers, however, continue to face post-harvest losses due to a lack of adequate meals to help process their produce. In a bid to address the situation, the state governor says he is collaborating with the largest rice mill company in West Africa, situated in Kanu, to ensure farmers do not lose their harvest anymore. already purchased 200 luxurious buses, CNG buses, to commute free students going to school and subsidize for civil servants in Niger State. <laughs> One hundred will commute Abuja and Suleja daily. Fifty will be in Mina, and others will be spread between Kontobora and Bida. First, this is the first phase. The governor says that in order to cushion the effects of subsidy removal of citizens in the state, 200 CNG buses have been purchased to relieve workers and students to lessen the burden of high transportation costs within the state. How do we take the comparative advantage from that is that we first aggregate this party and trade them off to these people instead of people just come and carry it and our people are losing. So we want to empower our local farmers with improved seedlings and inputs so that they can produce more tonnage and also make more money. So we're going to have an MOU with that company, the Niger State development company and get our rice meal. Chairperson of the House of Representatives Press Corps, Grace E.K., presented an award to Governor Bagu on behalf of the Press Corps, recognizing his outstanding service, dedication, and contributions to the Nigerian economy. We chose this because, not because you are in what we was in Lomica, but because we have watched you closely because we have seen you closely, because we know that you are a performer. Whatever you set to do, you do. You don't just talk, but you act. The state will be hosting the first ever Green Economy Summit in the state on the 24th and 25th of October 2023 as part of his administration's efforts to bring economic growth to Niger State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.